What's going on guys? I'm the Maha Mechanic and today we're going to be replacing the fuel pump on this 2004 Honda Element. So let's get into it. So this is part seven, I believe. Part seven of the turbo toaster build. As you can see, we got the engine bay pretty much all finished out, um, ready to go besides the exhaust, still finishing up a couple things on the exhaust. Um, and then that video will be out. But today, we're gonna be start, starting to worry about uh, fueling. So yeah, let me show you what I got. All right, so see here we got a Quantum Fuel Systems uh, 225 liter per hour fuel pump. Um, and just to give some reference, this fuel pump, the, the fuel pump that's on the car right now is about, I'd say anywhere from 150 to 190. 160 to 190 liters per hour. Uh, I think they measure in gallons per hour, I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's anywhere in between that range and a 225 will, get, will give us the uh, added duty cycle on the fuel system that we need to run our turbo setup. So yeah, let's hop into getting this thing installed. So you wanna first start off by opening the doors all the way, give you more access. We're gonna start just prying up the sill. It's held in there by clips, so just bring over here and start popping it up. Now once you've got it like this, where it's all loose, front and back, you're gonna just wanna take the seat, slide it all the way forward, so that now you can lift this piece um, and, and pop these pieces up. So basically what we're doing right now is just granting us access to uh, lifting up the carpet, or not the carpet, the uh, the flooring, um, and right, pretty much right there is where our access port for our fuel pump is. So let's continue. So popping off the center console takes a little bit more effort because the clips are stronger. But uh, once you get your fingers under there, pry up really hard and it'll pop right out. Um, and then under here, set the side. Under here, you can see that there's a clip right in the center, and we're gonna remove that so then we can fold the uh, carpet up and out of the way. So with the seat fully forward, I'm now able to bring this up. Kind of grab the corner and uh, start pulling all of this. All right, now they got this side all undone. You're gonna to wanna to do the same thing on the other side so that we can move the entire carpet up and away. So now that we have the carpet pushed out of the way here, you can see right here, this black little panel. This is our access panel for our fuel pump. There are four Phillips head screws, so just remove those and we'll have access to removing the pump and the center in the uh, fuel level center unit. Just pry it off has a little bit of a ceiling around it. And then now we have access to our fuel pump. So you can see here it's quite dirty. It's got a lot of dirt all over it. So what we're gonna wanna do before we open up the tank is kind of like spray all of this off, get like an air compressor or, or a vacuum and uh, vacuum this all up so that we don't get any of this dirt and debris inside the tank because that would not be the best. So I'm just gonna take a shop vac and a brush knock everything loose and suck it all up. I think that'll be the, uh, the cleanest way to do things. All right, there we go. Now we got all of the uh, dirt and everything surrounding our fuel pump all cleaned up. Now we can start removing it. So to remove it, we're gonna first run and remove this gas line. So just pinch in on these two uh, little connector things here and then you should be able just to slide this off. Now gas will go um, spilling out so make sure you have a rag to sop all that up. All right now we need to remove this electrical connector. There's two little places where you push and then it'll pull right up. There we go. All right 
So now we can start to remove the uh, top of the tank here. Um, what I'm gonna do is take a screwdriver and kind of just hammer the uh, little fins here around in a circle until it comes loose. All right, once you got it loose, bring it off just like this. Set that aside. And now we can uh, start wiggling out our our fuel pump here. So when you're removing it, this also has the float for the um, the fuel level center unit. So you're just want to tilt it this way. And you can see right there. And there's the float. So just gonna take this out. And I'm just gonna set it just like, like this. And I'm gonna get something to set this on so it doesn't leak gas everywhere. Luckily the uh, fuel tank is somewhat empty. All right, so I took it outside just cause don't want it smelling up the garage too bad. Um, if we look here, we need to open this whole thing up and you see here there's like a clip here, there, and uh, on the back side here I've kind of just popped them all open. And I think once I do that I should be able to just pull it, this outer housing, this casing off and um, reveal the actual pump. So let's see what happens. Right, so it took a bit of finagling. Um, it's kind of like stuck in there a little bit, but uh, jiggled it a little bit loose and uh, make sure you remove all like the wires from inside this clip so that you don't like accidentally rip them, rip them out. Um, this thing comes off, just kind of slides up and off. Uh, anyway, once we do that, see, pull this out. You can see our fuel pump right there in the middle. So I'm gonna just undo this electrical connector, get the sender unit out of my way. Set this aside, make sure we don't damage that. So you can see here, uh, we've got our fuel pump right here and we're gonna be replacing it with this, this one right here. So to get this out, it looks like it's held in by clips here. I don't know if you can see that. Clips on either side. Let's get a screwdriver and pop those clips. So I've got a little screwdriver. I'm gonna come in here, pop this clip up. Careful not to break it. Okay, there's one popped. Right the other side, pop the other one. This one just popped back. There we go. It's a little bit more wiggling, it came right out. Okay, so we've got a wire here can't pull it very far out until we move this connector. So let's do that now. Here we go. So hindsight, remove the electrical connector first if you can. Uh, but here is our pump. So now we can use it to replicate um, our other pump. So going back to our little box here, we have another filter particulate filter, and two O-rings. So now one of the O-rings goes in the bottom here, I believe. You can see down in there, there's an O-ring. All right, so that was pretty tough. I don't know if you can see right there. See that little uh, metal thing that I had to put on there? Um, it comes in the kit. You kind of have to just put it on there and use a, use a flat blade screwdriver, kind of just push it over there. And that's just acting as like a little lock mechanism so it doesn't move. Now, we're good to go throw this back in here. If you look up in here, you can see the other O-ring actually. So we're gonna wanna pop that bad boy out and then that's what we're gonna place this one with. So one O-ring goes in here, one O-ring goes in here. Uh, of course, we're gonna wanna clean that out, but uh, yeah, let's get that O-ring out of there. And then it's, the kit comes with some lube as well. So we're gonna lube it up and uh, throw it on the end. Of, uh, of this here because I think that's where it goes. Make sure this aligns with our clips and everything. There we go. Clips right on in. And now we're ready to reassemble our fuel pump and sender unit assembly. Now before we do so, 
You see all the junk gunk down in there? We're gonna wanna first remove our old O-ring that's in here. So the new O-ring goes around here. So we're just gonna put that around there, get the old one out of here, clean this one up real quick. We're gonna throw it on the end of here. There we go. And then we can slide this thing back under. Push down on the center here. Till it wants to. There we go. Pop on through in there. All right. Got our fuel pump reinstalled in there. Put our wires back through that hole. Now we can reinstall our little float here. Here. Kind of just falls into place. No really way to explain it, but. Take this, plug it back in. There we go. Now we got our fuel pump, old fuel pump out, new fuel pump in, and we can go and throw this back in the car. Before we do that, I'm gonna lube up, use some of the lube that they gave me here, and lube up this O-ring, or this uh, gasket seal. You should replace it, but um, it doesn't look too bad, and it'll, it'll work just fine. Um, so yeah. Loop that up and throw it back in the car. All right, let's throw this thing back in. Just remember, it goes this way, that way. Get the center unit on in there. And plonk this bad boy down in. If it wants to. There we go. Now we throw this thing back on. Hammered on around. Safe to say, this thing's not going anywhere anytime soon. So let's just take our electrical connector here, plop that bad boy back on. We're gonna throw it back on here. There we go. Make sure this doesn't come off, which it doesn't. And there we go. Got our fuel pump replaced. Now it's just from here, removal. They are opposite of removal. So throw the plate on and then fix the interior. <laughs> so let's do that now. Just like that, there we go. All right, so that'll conclude this uh, this install. If you want to stay up to date with the uh, Turbo Toaster project, as you can see here, it's almost finished, but if you want to see the, uh, the videos that came before this, click right up here, take you to a playlist. And uh, yeah, if you found this video informative, please be sure to like on the video and subscribe to the channel for more. And remember, no matter your experience or your skill level, keep on improving.